Hello everyone and welcome to 2023. We're starting this year off a little bit differently than what we did last year. I'm going to recap basically on what the hell went on in 2022 and basically kind of what we're going to expect for the channel in 2023. So let's not mess about and get straight into it. We're going to start off with the channel itself. At the start of the year, I probably only had about 150 subs on YouTube and probably about less as followers on Instagram. Now, we're on 669 subs as I'm recording this. It might have changed, I'm not too sure, like by the time I upload it, and we're on about 670 for the Instagram. Again, not 100% sure on that figure. That's insane considering I can tell you I have not been putting 100% effort or even potentially 50% effort into this. So 2023 could be a big year. I'm gonna plow a lot more effort into this and we're gonna see where we can get. My aim is to have a thousand subs and a thousand Instagram followers by May. 2023 so there we go let's see if we can achieve it and before we jump into the main stuff i'd like to just cover two small little cars that passed through us during this year um they are obviously both red say arosas and they both probably no i'd say both we'll, so we'll say the second one upe is getting the worst car of the year award that thing just it was just the worst car i've ever ever owned it was unreliable to be fair both of them were unreliable they were constantly breaking they weren't exciting they were crap on fuel for a one liter as well i must say so yeah i had a bit of a mare with them so there's, you, there's pictures on the screens i don't know what i've done i'm just doing a current i'm just speaking into a microphone at the moment i don't know what i'm actually going to put on the screen but you'll, you'll be seeing something the first Arosa HXG wasn't actually that bad and it wasn't actually from 2022. I bought it in October 2021, but it took so long to get it on the road. It was pretty much 2022 when it was on the road. So that's why I've included it in this video. And obviously I scrapped it in 2022 as well. Once the gear linkage had failed and the pedal box had had its second failure. So that pretty much saw that one out of action. Then with UPE, I only had that for nine weeks. Then the pedal box went again on that and I just kept having problem after problem. So that is getting the worst car of the year award. And of course, next on the recap list is the daily we all know and love, the GLS. You've all seen the changes to the GLS on the channel over the past um, probably like 14 weeks or something like that. She's now nice and blue. We've got the wheels and I've actually had it detailed in here as well. So everything's nice and clean in here for the probably the first time in any of my YouTube videos that I've recorded. One thing I do need to make you apparently aware of though, is that the cluster is actually dead on one side. I don't think you can see it though. You might be able to just see it where it doesn't light up on the fuel gauge, but yeah, it is actually dead on that. I just wanted to say like, you, you've seen everything with this car. There's not actually much to say about it, but I just want to say this car is a survivor. It came out of the London New Les zone. It was on Facebook for X amount of money. It didn't sell for a long, long time. So it could have been a potential scrap of this thing. And there's, there was absolutely no need for it to be. It's a genuine, true survivor. I paid peanuts for it and I took a massive gamble. It had little MOT left on it and it absolutely paid off straight away and I couldn't have asked any more from this car. It's already done more miles than both the Rosas. It's just been an absolute trooper, this thing, and it's gonna be getting some nice little treats in 2023. One of them being a new back box, because unfortunately, I went down a high curb and basically destroyed this one. So, excuse to get a better one. And obviously, at the same time, I will be getting a better car, but I'll be servicing it back box uh, what else have we got on the list i think that's it for now for what we'll be doing for the gls in january but we're going to be we're going to be sorting out the paintwork as well as the as the weather gets better as you know i've not finished the paintwork you can it's you can still see blemishes in the paintwork but i need to eliminate those so i just need to wait for this weather to get a bit better because you know what it's like in the uk don't you and now the last thing to cover is obviously the Suze machine We'll go and sit in the girl now to discuss what's what and uh, please do allow my odd choice of wheels at the moment. I'm going to explain that in a second. So first of all, the reason with the odd wheels is because I had to take it for MOT. So I had to put the stock wheels back on because the tyres on the EP3 wheels at the front were so bald it was untrue. The rear's got advice so I'm bloody glad that I changed the fronts. Only reason I didn't change... The rears, and you can't call me lazy for this, is because unfortunately a bit of a situation happened whilst I was changing the wheels. This happened all like half an hour before my MOT was actually like due, if you like. Um, but basically what happened 
was I heard this scream like almost when I was at the, my unit changing the tires and somebody had collapsed in the middle of the road like on the street where my unit is like around the corner so we, all, we had, kind of just went rushing to the scene to make sure they were all right and like the whole street came out as well just like and then ambulance and like four police vans turned up it was a it was a nightmare so I legit did not have time to change the rest of the, of the, the wheels over so that explains that hopefully so yeah, we've, we've done a lot with this this year. Ignore my food up there, I'm starving. I was just going from work and I'm being lazy and not cooking. Basically, this year on this car, we've done a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that I can't recap off the top of my head. But off the top of my head, I've done my HKS intake that's half finished. I'm going to make a full video on that. I'm going to make an MOT past video on this as well. That's coming soon. And I've done a lot of stuff. I'm not going to even bother rambling on and I'll just list it on the screen here somewhere what's actually been done to the car. But this year, I'm going to set a deadline for when I want to finish the car. And by finish the car, I mean rendition one because I've got two renditions for this. Nobody knows what I'm going to do for rendition two. I'm not going to tell anyone. And I'm not really going to tell anyone what I'm going to be doing to finish the car before April. And the reason April is the deadline is because that's when Japfest is. I didn't go last year because I just, honest to God, didn't have the time or money, and I just had to keep grafting just to get keep the cars going, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's kind of a rough plan of what's going on with the Swift. Um, I've just realised I've, I've lost my bloody battery try off as well. That's not good. And to round it off, you've all obviously seen that I've recently bought a Mark V Smiley Banana Transit recovery truck. That's There's not really much to say on that because I've not done anything since the video, so I'm not going to include anything in this video. I'm going to be making, I am going to be making separate series for that, for when I'm doing recoveries or if I'm going buying a car from somewhere, I'll go and vlog it etc etc but yeah that I, th I think that's i think that's about about it for this video so that's a recap of 2022 and i'd just like to say thank you all for a banging year for every single one of you that's shown support subscribed followed my instagram even commented or liked any of my stuff just thank you because when you hear youtubers say like likes and stuff mean a lot they actually do because i understand that i've seen it firsthand what it actually does for somebody's youtube channel and I am very grateful, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. We are going for 1,000 subs, like I mentioned earlier in the video, by my birthday this year. That's my goal, and I reckon we can achieve it. We're nearly on 700 now. I think it's 669 I said in the, earlier in this video. That's where we're at now. I think it's a perfectly achievable goal by May with me banging out some more content. I'm going to be going for weekly uploads pretty strictly i'm going to try my best i'm not going to promise that i'm going to stick to that because sometimes things do get in the way but i'm going to absolutely try my damned hardest to not let things get in the way and i'm going to be making more time and i've been making more time as well to devote to this so yeah that's pretty much it thank you all so much for a brilliant 2022 i wish you all the best for 2023 even though we're already near, nearly a week into 2023 it's a bit of a delayed video kind of eating my own words there but yeah you know what you know what i'm saying so thanks very much for watching and i will see you all next week for no we're going to be doing some swift content so yeah i'll see you all for some sport content very soon thank you